All right, before we put that kicker on, uh, let's put this uh, mixing tube on. Let me zoom in here. It's uh, easier to put on when, when all that stuff is off. Okay, let me show you where it goes. It's just hole on the side here. That's where it goes, and then... Oops, we lost our uh, thing there, that's okay. But uh, your set screw's down here, one eighth set screw. So, we'll set you down here. Now that's gotta be a, an airtight fit. So you wanna put some uh, sealer on there. I'm gonna put a little gas oil on here. You see I cleaned the, the paint off on the end here. Just put some gas oil on there. All right, when you put this in, see the way it's got a curve to it? So here you go. See the way it's got a curve to it? You just want to shove it right in there. Let me back out on the Allen screw. Okay. Show it in as far as it'll go because it actually bottoms out on the on the jet, and you can see it. See so where it comes a little out and goes in. So you make it find the center, and then you just uh, tighten up on it. Okay. Don't take much. I also put the cap on, right? We got the cap. Oh, we just dropped it. Sounds like we're, we're gonna have to repaint it. Oh no, it looks okay. Look at that. How's the hole? There we go. Okay. As usual, I got the gas oil all over my clothes here. Let me clean it up. Spin that all in. Look at that. Okay. Put your mixing tube there. Okay. We'll slip this back on. This is our, uh, our pedal holder. All right. I sense we're going a little long, so let me cut this off, and then we'll start uh, out for, with a with a fresh video. All righty. All right, what we've got to put on next is uh, this uh, spring. This is a return spring for your kick pedal. And this is your, your cover. All right, so what we want to do is we'll get this and stick it. you got a little hole here. You go in from the back side and pull it through. And then uh, spread it. That'll be enough for now. Then you take the other one and you stick it in this little hole here. You see that little hole? And that'll push right through there. Okay. And then you want to spread that. Okay. That'll be good enough for now. Alright, and then over here, I don't know if you remember, we had this one bolt that we didn't tighten down in the gas tank. Well, right here, that's going to go through this hole here. See, now, now you can move this. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. Everything is just so lubed up that it's moving so good. Let me put this back up here, make it easy on us. Let me shove it back in here. Now you can just pull this down and slip it over to the little stud there. Okay. And that, this over here, I don't know if you can see it. We put our bolt in the tank. Let me tip it back up for you. We put the, the bolt in the tank there. Okay. And then this piece back here, you squeeze everything together so it's tight. 
and then you got a quarter inch bolt on here. I don't know if you can see that. You tighten that up, and that's what holds that's what holds that on. It doesn't have to be all that tight. And like I say, you tighten this bolt up here on your gas tank. That's a long bolt. Okay, it's starting to go easy now. You can't fit a socket in there, or else I would have used a socket. Okay, just crank up on that a little bit. Okay. Now that's all uh, all together. Let me show you the quarter inch bolt here. Right here. You just tighten this down. All right. Next, I guess we'll put the kick pedal on. Okay. How are we doing on time? Three. Okay. All right. Here's the kick pedal. That just goes on here like that. Let me back up so you can see it. That goes right there. Let me see where the bolts are for that. I got me some stainless steel bolts. There's no room for a washer in there. And you don't really need one. It just goes on the back there. And I got these locking nuts. Okay. Put this one on. Let me get some wrenches and tighten that up, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right, we got a few minutes here, so uh, I decided we'll put some decals on. Let me zoom you in here, so you see what's going on. Hmm. Doesn't know the camera doesn't know what to focus on. Hmm. Let me leave it there until the. Uh, so we get our thing ready. Oh, okay. Put that there. Now I should be able to zoom in. It's got something to look at. Okay. We'll just uh, slide this off here. There we go. And find a nice place for it, center it there. Get the water out from behind it. There we go. Yeah, it's a little wet. Okay. That looks pretty good. Let that dry a little. And I'll put another one on. All right. Okay, we got the other one in the water here now. You don't want to keep it in too long. Maybe uh, maybe five seconds or so. And then you grab it and you just try to see if it moves. Okay, see? See it's moving now a little bit. Okay. Whoop, I want to do that. You slide the paper out and you position it where you want it. Right about there looks good. Get rid of your excess water. Okay. I like it. Make sure all the water's out from underneath it. All the bubbles. Okay. Over here a little bit. Here we go. All right. I like it. Now let's move on to the next one. All right. 
we've got all the decals on. There's your uh, multi-motor decal on the side there, and then your caution one on the side over here on the, the kick kick cover uh, clutch clutch cover there, whatever they call that. And then uh, your uh, mixing instructions down here to use uh, the notice to use Maytag oil. That's right there. So that's all done. All right. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. All the decals and all the accessories on it. And Next thing we're going to do is uh, we'll put on a flywheel. We still have to change the coil out and a new flywheel and the points. And after that, uh, should be ready to start. Alrighty. I think this video is getting uh, getting to be long enough. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right.